Hi, my name's Dave. You're watching Make for Others. And in this episode, it all comes together for my friend Jason. My buddy Jason is a really good friend, and we've known each other for a really long time. Long enough for me to have seen an amazing photo from his childhood. There aren't enough words to describe how awesome this picture is. The only thing that could make it more awesome would be to make it bigger and easier for more people to see. So I got a high resolution scan of it without Jason knowing and decided to make a large outdoor sign that would be put on top of his roof so everyone that drove by could enjoy it as much as I have. In addition to that, he's also getting a few other surprises, specifically about 100 yard signs of him and a birdhouse that looks like his house. Links to those build projects are in the description below. Now just to be clear, Jason does love practical jokes, so while some people may not enjoy this kind of attention, Jason is going to feel known and loved. At least, that's the hope. The only thing to do before starting all of this was a quick phone call with his wife to explain the idea. <laughs> that sounds great, just please don't break the house. With Amy's approval, I took some reference photos and videos of their house to get a better idea of how big the sign could be, how to go about getting it on top of the roof, and how to keep it up there safely. The sign and whatever keeps it up there need to be easy enough for one person to take up a ladder and quick enough to complete on site because I wasn't going to have days to assemble it. At the time all this started, I was going to install everything after Jason left for a day of work and be done before he came home that evening. So this and the other projects needed to be installed as quick as possible. Since I had already done some work on the yard signs and liked the look of removing Kid Jason from the picture background and have some white borders surround him, I planned on doing the same thing for the roof sign. Since the final size is going to be about 5 feet wide and 10 feet tall, it needed to be printed in parts so it would fit in my car and be easier to get on the roof. Because of some previous projects, I knew a local business that could print and cut images of any size on their large format printer. When I gave them the image, I did have to explain what the project was for. We're printing a giant kid today. We're printing to polyvinyl chloride. Some people call it PVC. They make pipes out of it. They make all kinds of things out of it. Basically, we throw it up on a flatbed printer and it works like a reverse air hockey table where air sucks it down so that it's nice and flat so that a giant gantry can move across the material and digitally print a giant kid on a giant sheet of plastic. Once you've got it, it's rainproof, it's weatherproof, it's the future. Then when it's finished printing, we're gonna use a multi-cutter, then he's gonna be put back together, and you're gonna have a giant five foot by 10 foot kid. Have you ever printed a, a large child before? We've never been asked to do anything like this, no. We've printed kids, but not a red-haired kid with a bowl cut. Like a real serious bowl cut. Like mom used a bowl and cut the hair with the bowl. While all this was going on, I found out that Jason was going to be leaving for a week-long trip out of the country for work. So that caused another idea. So as we were thinking about what are fun or funny things to do to Jason's house, I also started thinking about you know, how could, how could we be helpful? Because the reality is they just moved into their house, they've got three young kids, and they're both really busy with work. So what are things that they're not just funny, but they could be helpful? And so I asked my friend Kirk if he would help organize our friends, and we spent two or three hours in the yard helping Amy and Jason. And that may not sound like a lot of time, but there's 20 some of us times two and a half, three hours. That's a summer's worth of work for Jason and Amy. So when you think about making for others, think about how do you just make their day? Maybe it's not a big elaborate thing. Maybe it's just, you know, doing yard work. It doesn't take special skills. We're mowing the yard, we're pulling out weeds, we're cutting down limbs. We're doing all different kinds of things that um, are just helpful. I would talk longer, but um, I've got a chainsaw and I'm gonna go use it. More people kept coming though, and eventually we ended up with over 30 adults plus all the awesome kids. In the invite, we told people they should definitely bring their kids for a couple of reasons. One, it made it easier for more people to be a part of the event because they didn't have to figure out babysitting or who would stay at home and who would come help. Two, it's been my experience that what your kids see you do has a bigger impact than what you say. So the kids being able to see others help one another and the kids being able to help if they wanted to was great. The really cool part is the afternoon wasn't just about getting Melissa's stuff done. People were able to talk with each other, 
have fun with the kids, work on the projects they wanted to work on, and we did also end up getting a bunch of stuff done. People that came were really thankful because for some of them, it gave them another yard to weed whack or mow or chop stuff. They were just having fun and enjoying helping out Amy and Jason. It was a really good day. For the past few weeks, I'd been doing rough sketches of the sign support, each time trying to make the structure simpler, lighter, and have fewer parts. With just a couple of days left before Jason got home from his work trip, it was time to build and test it. The idea I went with had the supports hinged so it could easily fold to match the angle of the roof, which is also known as the pitch. From there, the sign would be attached to hinges on one side with poles higher up the sign connected to the middle of the base. Weights would be placed on the far edges of both sides of the base to keep everything from moving. Measurements were taken, wood was cut, screws were drilled, parts were assembled, and then it was all taken up the ladder and onto my roof. There I did the final assembly except for the sign to avoid it being accidentally damaged. Once the structure was secure on Jason's roof, I'd install the sign in pieces. On the morning of the install, the weather forecast was not looking good, and after looking at the roof again during the yard work day, the pitch of the roof seemed a bit steeper than I remembered. Or at least it looks steeper now that I was actually going to have to climb around on it. So the location of the roof sign needed to change. Because of that, I needed to make some adjustments to the structure. The sign is going from being on one side of the support to a side of both of the supports. This isn't that big of a deal. It'll just take time to measure, cut, and assemble the support. It became a race against time as Jason's return got closer. Thankfully, the other surprises we had for him, the birdhouse and the 98 yard signs in the neighbor's yards leading up to his house, were already done with the help of friends. I shrunk the length of the support so it wouldn't hang over the edges of the porch roof and put squares of foam underneath so it wouldn't damage the shingles. Just please don't break the house. Be safe around ladders. No project is worth getting hurt, so be smart. Weights got put on and that made it easier for me to move around while adding additional parts to the structure. The back support of the sign got attached and I put Jason's head on before going up the ladder because it would have been too high up for me to work on it safely. At this point, I was making additional supports. So the head was all by itself on the top of the roof for about a half an hour. Cars driving by were already slowing down. Success! <laughs> After the additional support got added, I took up the other parts of Kid Jason and drilled holes through them and the support so the nuts and bolts could keep everything together. Washers also got used in most of the holes to increase the surface area that was holding the sign in place. This was to reduce the chance a part of the sign would get torn off if it was windy. The final touches of all the projects got done and the build materials were put away. For dinner, a big thing of bears, but that's right here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Welcome home. Thanks. Thanks for you're not angry at us, are you? No, not angry. <laughs> no, you're good. I was like, it's it. I was like, what's up, Mario? That's me. I had to go like, yep. And then you had your work trip popped up. Yep. So then it's like, oh, well, we've got a week to play with. What can we do in a week? A lot, apparently. So there's a, lot. a whole lot of week. Yeah, it's 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 fantastic. Person, and this man. is your like, birdhouse. It's. I, it matches. Uh -huh. Like, this is temporary, so you can move it wherever you want to. And I learned a lot about birdhouses, so this is to code based on all the birdhouse, <laughs> the birdhouse lovers of See, the I internet. Don't... And look in the. 
Oh man, the birds will love that. <laughs> they'll, feel, they'll feel right at home. Dude, I love it. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, May came by, okay, and she helped out. She did a lot of the signs, but then Jim came and helped her. Long story short, we had some technical difficulties with the yard signs, so the two of them got to meet a lot of the neighbors. Jim said he's met more neighbors today <laughs> That's than great. he's ever met, and he's lived here four years. This is actually what, yeah, <laughs> community. They actually got to talk to most of your neighbors, and no one said no. They're like, hey, can we put a few of these in your yard? They're like, yes. <laughs> I don't know if you also noticed, but there was a lot of bags. Like, we had people here on Sunday. We figured if we were going to do some funny stuff, or hopefully funny stuff, we could also do some, like, helpful stuff. You guys, you guys took cut that tree off. I don't mm -hmm. want to cut off, so let's mm -hmm. see what kind of going. All right, so... We good? We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're All right, good. so it's a success. Uh, the birdhouse, the yard signs, the gigantic sign that um, will probably get taken down at some point soon. Um, it just depends on the weather and how long Jason and Amy want it up. I know you're like jet lagged and it's like <laughs> three in the morning right now and there's somebody driving really slowly behind us. Hi there. They're gonna meet all kinds of neighbors this week. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Which is actually great. I love, like we wanna meet our neighbors and uh, it's a great way to break the ice. It's perfect actually, so. I think the ice is definitely broken. Yeah, I'm still, it's still dawning on me. Like I'm like, what actually is all here and what's been done and yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. It's, it's pretty crazy. So, well, you guys yeah. are loved. You're totally loved. And maybe I'll have some words later on. Maybe. Different words. Right now, I'm just like, I'm totally in shock. So that's it. This is the this is another episode of Make for Others. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And we'll see you another time. Thanks. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> this is a fun series. Let's see what happens.